Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. I love doing these types of videos because we get to take a look at what's to come with the franchise. And this time, in today's video, we have some very exciting stuff to look at. I don't remember how long ago it was, but I want to say a couple months ago, we got our first preview of the Twisted Ones graphic novel. And yesterday, we got some brand new pages. We got six whole pages to look at in today's video. Also, if you missed the first preview video, it'll be linked down below so you can go check it out and come back when you're done because, again, we have six brand new pages to look at today. Also, between you and me, I did get something the other day and it's pretty poggers. <laughs> you wanna see a video on this? So I got this yesterday and I watched it last night and oh boy, was it a, um, how do, how do I put this? Interesting <laughs> movie. So if you guys wanna see a review video talking about it, I know it's like a year old at this point, but I haven't done a video on it, so I'll watch it again. If you guys wanna see a video, tell me in the comments down below. But anyways, let's not waste any more time and get to the preview. So like I've said a lot at this point, we have six pages to look at in total for today. We have pages four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So here is pages four and five, and let me just say, I, I still freaking love this art style. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I, I had a couple issues, right? It looks so much better, but I still had some issues. And I will say, I do still have some issues, but I'll go over them shortly. But overall, I love this new art style. Not at all trying to bash on the artist who did the Silver Eyes graphic novel, but overall, I think this looks, in my opinion, way better. And of course the artist, um, I believe her name is Claudia, she'll be linked down below if you want to go check out her and some of her stuff. So this is at the beginning of the book, again pages 4 and 5, we have Charlie and Sammy and Spring Bonnie, and it looks like this is the point where, spoilers, I should have said spoilers, Spring Bonnie takes Sammy from Charlie. I'm not going to read out all the text bubbles, you can read them for yourself, you can pause the video, do whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna go through the pictures and illustrations. So we see Spring Bonnie reaching out, grabbing Sammy, taking him away, and it looks like we cut back to present time. Again, I will say, a nitpick I had last time, and a nitpick I still have right now, is that you can't really tell when it is a flashback and when it is not. For some reason, when you cut back to present time, um, maybe they're just not colored yet, but for the preview, I'm talking about the preview right now, when you cut back to present time, that's not colored. That's in like black and white, grayscale, all that stuff. I think the flashbacks should be in grayscale, not present time. I don't know if it's just not finished yet, but this is what we're seeing right now, so that's what I'm going off of. We get a look at Aunt Jen as well. I don't think we've seen her, at least in these previews for the Twisted Ones. We might, we may have seen her in the Silver Eyes, but I don't think we've seen her so far for the Twisted Ones. Also, forgive me if I forget some of the scenarios. It's been a while since I've read the Twisted Ones, but it seems like they were in a bit of an argument. You know, Charlie is lashing out at Aunt Jen. Moving on to pages six and seven, we are introduced to a brand new character, and I believe we are seeing Jessica for the first time as well. I probably should have taken a look back at the original previews, but I don't remember seeing Jessica, but this is what she looks like. As you can see, Charlie and Jess reunite. Uh, I believe Charlie goes to Jessica's house. It's very interesting how they have the, um, what are they called? The onomatopoeias of slam, vroom, knock, knock, knock. It's so weird to see that. I don't know if we've seen that in the preview so far. And again, I don't know if this is just how the art is going to be or if it's just not finished yet, but I'm not a huge fan of the grayscale going on here, how everything is just not colored at all, I'm guessing they're not finished. I really do hope that this is unfinished. As unfortunate as it is to see unfinished work for a preview, I really, really do hope that it needs color. Because so far, it just doesn't look all, the, all that appealing. But again, the drawings themselves, they all look fantastic. And as you can see, on page 7, we are introduced to Orty. As you can see, they're in class. Uh, Charlie is drawing some animatronic robots. Uh, looks like there's Bonnie and Freddy, and Artie comes over, he's pointing out like, Hey! Check it out, I freaking love his hair, dude. His hair looks sick. Sure, it seems like it's defying all laws of gravity, but it, <laughs> it looks cool while doing it. And I really do love the emotions. I know I picked on them a bit in my last video on the previews, but their facial expressions, they do look so much better in this preview than the last one. I freaking love them. Like all the faces that they're making, Jessica in page 6 and Charlie in page 7, they just look so freaking good. I'm so excited for this. I believe it comes out in February. Maybe I should double check that. February 2nd. Boom, I nailed it. And then the next two pages, wow. 
This looks incredible. Okay, this is incredible. So we have Chorley and Orty in the hallway of the school. It looks like Chorley is not in the best of moods in panel four. So after talking about John for a little bit, Chorley walks away from Orty and we get this amazing panel of Chorley with Brady, Foxy, Chica, and Sammy and Spring Bonnie in the background. And my god, I have a bit to talk about, all right? Just because I'm saying it looks fucking incredible doesn't mean I have things I want to talk about it. Uh, did that even make sense? Yeah, like, it looks freaking incredible. But since I've been talking a lot about how much I love these new previews, I gotta talk about what I don't like. For some reason, it seems like the artists for both the Silver Eyes and the new Twist Into One's graphic novels just can't seem to get the animatronics accurate, which is really unfortunate. Foxy is all fixed up. He's not missing any, you know, fabric on his chest, on his arms, on his face. Chica is missing her iconic let's eat bib. And Spring Bonnie, I believe I said this last time as well, I really don't think he should look like FNAF 1 Bonnie. I know a lot of people are gonna be just like, oh, but blah, 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 blah. I don't think they would look that similar. If we are being completely honest, I don't think Fazbear Entertainment would make them that similar. You know, like we've seen Withered Bonnie and we've seen FNAF 1 Bonnie. Those guys are separate. They don't look at all alike. And Spring Bonnie was made way before FNAF 1 Bonnie. So I don't think that they would look similar at all, which is really unfortunate um, that, that the graphic novel portrays them that way. Something I am extremely excited to see is the Twisted animatronics. We've seen them on the cover, but I feel like they probably won't be as detailed in the book as in the cover, so I really want to see how how toned down they are going to be. Because going off the group shot of the characters in um, page 9, I, I hope they <laughs> look better. Again, I'm not trying to crap on the artist, I'm just saying. And I know not everything can be perfect, I'm just saying the animatronics of FNAF are kind of the main focus point. So if you... I don't know. Again, it looks perfect. And I'm always gonna be a jerk and I'm gonna say, oh, this doesn't look right, or oh, I wish this, you know, was like this. I'm just saying, my personal opinion, some things need some fixing. Even though I doubt it's going to happen because we are only, what, three months away from the book's release? So I don't think any changes are going to be made. Plus, they're already colored in. At least most of the pages we've seen are already finished, it seems like, so I doubt they'd go in and change things. I'm just hoping for the fourth closet, we can have just a absolute banger of a graphic novel. Again, not saying that this looks bad, not saying that the Silver Eyes one looked bad, I'm just saying there were some things that still get me. So that's it, those are the six brand new pages. I'm absolutely hyped for this graphic novel. Even though I was, you know, nitpicking it, that doesn't mean I'm not still excited for it. I have the Silver Eyes graphic novel, so I cannot wait to add this to the collection. I'm also excited to see what the fourth closet graphic novel is going to be like. Are they going to keep this new design? Are they going to go back to the old design for the Silver Eyes? Or are they going to bring in a entirely different design? I do not know, only time will tell, and time is of the essence, boys. Subscribe while you still can. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.